Good morning, welcome back. My name is Ashley McCray and I'm the Adult FNIP Program Assistant for North Carolina Cooperative Extension here in Robinson County. I'm here to share with you today another great, simple, really fun recipe. We're gonna be making the FNIP three fruit salad. In this salad, um, like I said, it's only three fruits. We're gonna be using some pineapples. So I already have them here in my little container. It requires us to also use some mandarin oranges and whenever you're purchasing your mandarin oranges um, even with your pineapples make sure that they're um, packed in 100% water or 100% juice and then for our third fruit that we're going to use today we have some fresh strawberries doesn't that look yummy and for our topping we're going to be adding a little bit of walnuts just to give us a little bit of an extra crunch. So for this recipe, as I said, we're using three fruits. We have our pineapple, our mandarin oranges, and we also have our strawberries. What I love about this recipe is it's so simple. I like to call it a dump recipe. So this is one of those things that you could just kind of dump all your ingredients together, give it a good toss, and you're good to go. So from um, counter to bowl or table in less than probably five minutes. So what we're gonna do first, we already have our strawberries rinsed off. We're gonna just take and slice them and we're gonna need about a half a cup of strawberries. So what I'm gonna do is just move my little bowl out of the way here, bring this back, and we're gonna start slicing our strawberries. Now what you'll find is I'm a lefty. So this probably looks a little backwards. You're probably no normally used to seeing the knife being held this way. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift over to my left hand. Um, the proper way to hold your knife, you just want to make sure that you have a good grip on that handle. Um, some people like to cut with their fingers like this, but that's really not um, too safe. So you want to just make sure that you have a good grip on that handle. And we're going to begin to just slice. Now for this recipe, um, if you notice, I'm just doing a simple um, slice. You could chunk it if you'd like. Um, you could dice your strawberries if you like. But like I said, we're just going to keep it simple because this is a simple recipe. And like I said, or like I promised you, this is um, to your table in less than five minutes. And we're going to do just about enough to give us a half a cup. Now, even though these are fresh strawberries, strawberries right now are not in season. However, you are still able to go to your um, local grocery stores and purchase them. So, um... Just remember that, you know, whenever you're purchasing things in season, it's going to have a different taste. It's going to be a whole lot fresher. Not saying that these strawberries won't be just as delicious, but it's something about buying your fruits and vegetables in season. Um, another benefit to, you know, trying to buy those fruits and vegetables in season is that they're typically more affordable. And this also gives you an opportunity to learn more about your local growers in the area and see what they um, have to provide for you guys. So I think I have about a half a cup here. And so here's my little measuring cup and I'm just gonna put these in here to make sure that we have our half cup. And I actually have a little bit more. So at this point, this is a heaping because it goes over that half mark. And we'll probably just take the rest of these because it's just a little bit and just add them to our um, recipe either way. So now that we have our strawberries cut up, I'm gonna just move these out of the way and we're gonna start assembling our salad. You're gonna have about an eight ounce can of pineapple chunks here. And then for your mandarin oranges, that's also gonna be um, not an eight ounce can, but it's gonna be an 11 ounce can. So you're gonna notice that I'm just gonna dump everything because it's already measured for me. All I did was just drain that juice off. Now, if you didn't wanna get rid of your juice, you could take that juice and put them into an ice tray and freeze them and you can actually use that to enhance your water. So what we're gonna do is just dump those mandarin oranges because like I said, this is like a dump recipe. Dump those mandarin oranges in there. So we have a straggler. Put that one there. And now for those pineapples. I'm just gonna dump the whole thing. And so we had another straggler it went to the back of the bowl. Now, last but not least, our strawberries. And just by looking at it and the little ones that we said we were gonna add 
also. Doesn't that look beautiful with all those different colors? And we're gonna give it a nice toss just to kind of incorporate everything together. And you might notice that you have a few strawberries that stick together, but that's okay. And just give it that nice toss. And just give it a look, isn't that beautiful? Gorgeous. So now for our topping, because remember I did say we're gonna add a little bit of crunch. We have some walnuts. Now let's say that you have pecans, perfectly fine. You can use pecans at the top, you can use walnuts at the top, you can use almonds at the top, sliced almonds. Um, one thing that I found interesting about walnuts compared to pecans is that walnuts actually are less calories than pecans, about 10 less calories, so that's pretty cool to know. And it's a little bit more affordable than pecans. So, you know, interesting facts to learn. So we're gonna add about one fourth cup of walnuts to our recipe. And if you want to, because these are a little chunky, you can take and crush them up a little bit more. Just understand that the more you crush them up, the less crunch you're gonna have. So I like to try to keep them whole if I can. And again, back to our whole theme of dumping. We're just gonna dump that in there and give it a nice little toss again, just to incorporate everything together. And then if you want to get fancy, because the recipe only calls for one fourth, we're just going to take a little bit and just drizzle them across the top. This is enough for six servings. Your serving size that you want to have for this recipe is about a half a cup. So you could feed a family of six off of this fruit salad. Or if it's just you at home, um, think about all the possibilities. If you're going to work, this is a really, really great um, lunch snack for you to add to your lunch box. But um, this is the recipe that I have for you today. I pray that you guys enjoyed it. If you would like more recipes or to learn more about the Expanded Food Nutrition Education Program, stop by and give us a visit here at North Carolina Cooperative Extension here in Robinson County. See you soon.